What up, y'all? Welcome back. Today we are breaking out the Mike Buka's Bull Shad Swim Bait. It is going to be killer. Let's go. Oh, God. Holy smokes, dude. This thing smells absolutely toxic. What's up, gang? Welcome back. We are getting out with the Bull Shad. I've been eyeballing this bait for like over a year. I've been wanting to grab one and just have neglected to do so. As I have expanded the swim bait game, we are thinking about uh, picking up a few, and I finally did. I got this guy right here, which I think is like almost a three ounce model. I think 2.8. 2.8 ounce fast sink. So these things got to be cranked fast. It is December 1st, by the way, guys, and the water is cooling down. So we're going to try and get on a move, bit of a moving bite. The boys are here. We're meeting up with them. They've already said the cranks are hitting, which is a good thing. I've also got a smaller 5 inch model, 1.7 ounce, to pair with this 6 inch, almost 3 ounce one, if I'm not getting too many hits on the bigger size. So I'm going to go ahead and rig this thing up, and we're going to walk this place and just try and commit to the big stuff today with the boys. Let's go ahead and get after it. Good to see you. Well, you should definitely throw it right there. And then also in that corner, I almost always, well, not almost always, <laughs> multiple visits, I've gotten fish like in that corner right there. <laughs> All right, it says fast sink. I wonder how fast. Oh, she sinks pretty good. I like that. It's almost, it says fast sink, but it's not super fast. Like, yeah, it's sinking, it but it's not like just dropping way down. Time, this thing's nuts. That's a big right and you're just supposed to burn these things, dude. They're reasonable, I think. Yeah. I should have just let you smell it before I threw it in, dude. It's like toxic. It looks like, let me show you this. Oh, oh baby, oh baby. Yeah, look, it's like uh, like chicken wire looking stuff on there. Yeah. Oh. Does it still smell dude, like it? It smells just it like smells paint, just, dude. <laughs> it's fresh coat right there. <laughs> Bring him in from a ways away. Look, get you a whip. <laughs> it's like... No! What was that? What was that? Was that a bass or a... Bass, that was a bass? That was like, the size of my swim bait. <laughs> Look at this thing. Give that a whiff. Dude, fresh like spray paint. It, it smells too. like spray paint. Yeah, spray paint. There you go. Ooh. If you guys want to, <laughs> if you guys want to know what this bait smells like, it smells like it's about to get bit. <laughs> you did. You look shocked. <laughs> yeah, guys. Big old treble hooks on here. It looks like it's got a 360 swivel, but maybe not. Mm, not quite. Not quite. They don't like go in full rotation, but definitely the fact that there is the two rings there is going to give it more mobility so when these fish are thrashing less chance of them really using the waves on this leverage to get this thing out of their mouth i went with a, a palomar knot you guys know the usual i think this is 20 pound fluorocarbon on here so it should get that sink versus throwing this if you you know if you get this and you throw it on braid or mono those lines float so it's not going to sink quite as fast which you may use to your advantage and then it's got like this brush like tail it's a nuts bait man everyone talks about these i mean these things are, uh, they've got a reputation for catching bigs. So let's see if we can put one on the board today. It's very cold, by the way. First day of December. So I think it's like 40 something right now. It was 36 yesterday when we started fishing. Dude, if I get like a five pounder and I gotta flip it up this five foot wall, it's gonna be interesting. Dude, this thing swim is off the chain. If you guys throw the baby bull shad, like you've seen us throw in a lot of our vlogs, it's really got that same action. It just looks like a snake with that S weave. I mean, it's nuts. He pulled one out of the corner. <laughs> Seems like these bass are just hugging the walls, dude. He's got himself a nice bass on a uh, Ned rig. Adele's on like three fish right now. Devin caught a five pounder out of here. Yeah, on the Citizen, yeah. What, you got a catfish? <laughs> Yo, that drag. <laughs> what is going on? Dude, you got you got something weird, huh? You, you might have a catfish. Is it not head shaking? Top of the nose right there. That's why you fought so hard. Yeah, that's why it felt Ooh, weird. That's why I was like. That's why it felt weird. <laughs> dude, we dropped the kayaks in here. Yeah, we got in trouble. Yeah, we got in trouble. <laughs> Double up, what? And we're throwing out the big baits, but they ain't working. We're getting shown up with the Ned rigs. <laughs> oh God, oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that was not good. Wow, <laughs> that could have ended in tragedy. Mom, where's the meatloaf? Okay, <laughs> nice dude, he's going nuts too. Jordan's on again with another Ned Rig hog, or is that something else? Sleeper. Sle oh, the dark sleeper. On the mega bass dark sleeper in the grass right here, blokes. <laughs> Yee! I saw you thinking about it. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Dude, they're hammering the bottom baits today. 
Why am I throwing this thing? <laughs> 50, 60 bucks? <laughs> I was supposed to be catching mega fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that bass could consume this. He'd, he'd definitely get a hook. You'd be surprised at how many small fish will actually go after big baits, y'all. It's pretty funny. They'll either just side swipe it out of the aggression or they'll, they'll even try and eat it. But a lot of times, they just get one little hook and that's all I need. Big swim baits don't work. I want my money back. This is some bull <laughs> How are you gonna catch them on a Ned rig and I'm over here? This looks like what a fish should be eating right here. The bass want this, not a Ned rig. Lazy. Yeah, lazy mofos. 15 fish to my zero. I'm about to quit. Oh God, I thought I had one on the hook. <laughs> that's awesome. Ned rig, Adele got himself another one. Yeah, that's what you want right there. Boom, that's as good as it gets. They don't like the bull shad at this lake, so we're gonna go to another one next door, see if they'll hit. The small mouth spot, the secret small mouth spot nobody knows about. <laughs> Yeah, all right, y'all, we have rolled up. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw around the jerk bait for a moment while we're at the smallmouth spot that I don't get to hit very often. Junior Scout, three to five foot diver, Twitch Gold Series casting rod, and I got the Scorpion DC today. I figured it's gonna be windy, and also this is a lighter bait. The Scorpion DC is one of my favorite DC reels for throwing those lighter baits. Smaller spool size, just a 100, and then also it has the auto feature, the IDC5 auto feature of like the more expensive Metanium DC. The IDC4 and like the Corrados and stuff only has a one through four setting, but this one also has that auto, which readjusts constantly from even like your lightest baits to your heavier stuff, so. Just leave it on that, set it and forget it. There's a guy who was talking to me last time. He's like, yeah, I live here and they kick me out. That's a big one, dude. No, fuck, easy four, dude. I don't know how. That might be four. It's got them spots too. I mean, oh, it's a small now. No way. Hey, I think you're gonna have to just lift him up. I mean, there's no, there's no way around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big one, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. That is like a trophy smallie out of this place. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh! That's a big one, dude. What the heck just happened, Jordan? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's a big smallie. Oh my God. Texas Ponds, baby. <laughs> All right, we got to get some pictures of this thing. What was that on the lipless? Dark, dark the sleep. Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Okay. Look, I'm just trying to get me a fish now. <laughs> That's a big one. Dude, I'm telling you any second now, like I'm waiting. I'm gonna get a, I don't care if I get a large mouth. I just want to catch something on this and I know they'll hit it. And it's clear, like they can see it. <laughs> You've got fish today. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, the bullshit works. <laughs> the bullshit works. <laughs> I don't want my money back anymore. <laughs> I saw him come up and hit it. I mean, it was lights out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. I think I might've just called it the bull, the baby bull shad, but no, the full size bull shad, y'all. This is the six inch, almost three ounce bait right here. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about, man. Solid, healthy bass, probably two and a half pounds. Let's get that thing back in the water. It looks bigger when it first hit. I'm not burning it like I was earlier. It's kind of, it's almost impossible because since we're up here like 10, 15 feet, uh, if you burn it real quick, it just comes right to the surface. So I just keep my rod tip low. Swimming this thing nice and slow, water's cool. Angle you guys down now for that next catch. First one on the bull shad. That's sick though. It's the time of year, right? Whenever the water cools down, they, they, they want to exert less energy for like the amount of food they get when it's cold. So, I mean, some would argue that this isn't even that big. They eat stuff like this every day of the week though. That's what's funny, you know? Tails on with a nice one on the Ned Rig. I just got bumped, I think. Ned Rig taking the cake. Dude, look at that thing so fat. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ned rig domination today is really the title of today's video. Were y'all along the grass or were y'all oh, in, right in the middle? Right in, the middle. in the middle, yeah. Oh, Damn. You're about to pull another one. Oh! Oh my god! Did you see that big one? Bro, there's one under it. Dude, there's a fish under it. Oh gosh. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. There it is. Oh! Oh! He did it with the grass on and everything. Dude, that there was two fighting over it. There was two fighting over it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that was epic. That was insane. Oh! <laughs> I see you, dude. 
<laughs> I'll save that and send On it to camera, you. okay, okay. I'll save that so and send it to sick. you. So sick. All right, I gotta get them. I didn't even realize that one was under it at first because there was another one that swiped at it. That's when y'all need to follow up with that Ned rig. Yo, he okay, he got the hog. Oh, nice, dude. I probably better go. I got like a 40 minute drive home. Good to see you guys. Yeah, hey, invite me out more often. <laughs> Till next time, gentlemen. Well, what a day out on the water with Jordan and Adele, man. We had an absolute blast. Caught a big smallmouth in the Dallas ponds, and we got on a fish with the bull shad swim bait that you guys have not seen before, but you're gonna see more of, so go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to hit notifications, because we get on an insane bite out here in December with the bull shad swim bait coming up, guys. So, I'll see you then. Peace. <gasps>